Hello lovely Libras, welcome to the Spiritual Centre. I'm Sonia Parker and I'm doing your December tarot reading. Thank you for joining me. Um, can't believe that it's the last video for the monthly readings for 2021. Where has this year gone? Okay, the cards that we're using this month are the Angels and Gemstones, Guardians and Cards, and also the Sacred Spirit reading cards. As for the overall energy and then we'll be doing your tarot reading as well okay so let's get straight on to the reading uh, while I'm shuffling the cards I just want to say that I now do a, a Facebook live for a weekly reading on a Sunday evening um, I'll put a link in the description it'd be lovely if you could uh, pop over to Facebook live and join me there for that okay so let's have a look at what we have for you Hidden realms create conscious awareness. It's a lovely card. It's got all the different levels of spirit. Spirit. Our connection to spirit is our intuition. And our intuition connects to spirit. And the highest level of consciousness is the universal consciousness or um, divine wisdom. So it's almost like almost seeing this pyramid in this picture. It's almost as though it's you, your intuition, the spirit world, and then the consciousness. So hidden realms. Okay. Let's get you an angel card as well. Okay, for this month. <coughs> for... Librans, and we have an um, Amazonite, which is a beautiful bluey green color. Are you holding back something you need to say? This works with the throat chakra, and I feel quite croaky as I'm saying this. The truth about a certain matter needs to be spoken because honesty is important at this time. Have the courage to speak up with grace. Loving words have the power to heal and to improve a situation. Uh, one of the quotes that I want to bring up here is, um, hurt me with a lie, but never com no, hurt me with the truth, but never comfort me with a lie. I think honesty is one of the things that I live by. I can't bear people who are not honest. It's, just one of my own personal bugbears and this is the angel of honesty I live my truth and honestly communicate what is on my mind with ease I effortlessly find the words to express my truth and speak eloquently and lovingly I surround myself with people who are not afraid to be honest and express themselves honestly hmm. food for thought for this month for you so I do feel that there is someone around you that might not be totally honest about a situation. We'll see what the tarot brings out for you for December as well. Okay. And we have the Princess of Swords. This is why I love doing tarot reading so much and why you will hear me say it time and time again. The cards... They give you what the oracle cards give you. They back it up. How is that possible? How is that possible that I've picked out of pure luck the angel of honesty? And here we have the princess of swords. The swords are all about our thought processes and uh, beliefs and, again, cutting away things that are what I would say not the truth and I think that this is a new way of thinking for you you will see something differently what's stopping you moving forward is the empress what's challenging you and the empress is the mother figure so I do feel that either this is your responsibility as a mother or this is a mother figure around you um I think it's your responsibilities that are uh I wouldn't say holding you back because the responsibilities of being a mother is probably one of the best qualities that you can possess. Um, I know from having three of my own children that being a mum is the most 
precious thing to me and to have watched my children grow is it's a blessing so I feel that there's the responsibilities of a mother that is there's something there that where there is a, a dishonesty whether that's around your child or a partner there is someone there that is causing an issue okay and what you're not seeing is the five of swords again it totally confirms the messages that are coming so far with the five of swords he doesn't care that he's hurt people there's people in the background that have been hurt so i feel that this is important that somebody that is not caring about how they're making you feel your strengths the five of cups that's two fives and the fives are challenges so i do feel that december is challenging for you but your strengths are that you don't need to look at what's gone before you're very good at being able to shun sh it's almost as though i want you to he's got his head bent over and i want you to stand up and turn around and look in the other direction go the other way um and you have the strength to be able to do that this is a lovely card gift from the spirit world the gift of love from the spirit world so i do feel that even though there is this situation um of dishonesty in some way or there's someone who's not telling you the whole story i do feel that the love that is around there is enough to bring you through the situation i feel that there is love in this situation your external influences is the king of pentacles again the kings are the masters of the suit so this is either a fire sign male that's around you or and this is masculine energy this is somebody who is artistic who's creative who has a deep passion to do their own thing so I don't know whether this is connected to the issues of trust is an issue here I feel there's a trust issue around this your four cards for the uh, month ahead and the way forward a judgment which is a major arcana justice which is a major arcana the ten of swords and the hierophant which is a major arcana so lots of big impact things happening this month again what are you, what do you need to do right now judgment is letting go of the past putting the past behind you leaving it behind there is an ending to i don't want to say there's an ending to a relationship there's an ending to the way that you think about a relationship the justice card it brings in that fairness it brings in that need for um balance as well i feel that balance is the key finding the right balance in a relationship or situation okay final outcome for the month is the hierophant the teacher the mentor so i do feel that somebody is coming in for you um with this ace of cups it's it's something new and there is an ending of something so something something's coming in for you but i don't feel this is right till the end i want to go around the 29th of december right after the christmas period look for something that there's an offer an opportunity a new mentor or a new teacher a new course there's keys being given to you at the end of the month well bless you for watching i hope you enjoyed that reading if it resonates let me know in the comments please also pop over to facebook live and join me on my tarot by sonia page on facebook um also pop over to my website thespiritualcenter.net i do give away a free personal reading every month and we have got some exciting news coming in 2022 so please uh, pop over to subscribe to my newsletter too have a lovely month